Hello YouTube, uh, I'm doing this review, I've never reviewed anything and put it on YouTube because I kind of think it's unfair to take one person's opinion, but in the case of this gun, I think it's unfair if everyone doesn't put their opinions on YouTube. This is the Bone Collector Edition of the Remington 887 brand new model uh, this is November 2011 I purchased it in uh, I believe September 2011 before duck season um, I bought it for ducks and I ran probably three boxes of shells through it and it performed fine then I went on a duck hunt and I think I shot five or six times and it was okay but it double fed through the uh, the tube one time so it sent two shells down through the tube and it caused a jam inside the carrier can't push it up and another one wants to jump out of the bottom so I came home after that duck hunt and I just started running shells through it and the more shells I ran through it the more it double fed. So uh, I called the manufacturer, not Remington, but the, the place that I bought it from and they said I had the option of sending it back and getting a replacement gun exactly like it or I could get credit and put it towards another one. And they forwarded my email that I sent them to Remington. And the contact person I had for Remington was very professional. Told me they had some bugs in it and it needed to be worked out. Or they did have the bugs worked out. And he thought I needed a bolt, a new bolt, and a new trigger assembly. So, the one you're looking at is the old one. This is the original one that came with the gun. Now the bolt, I can't find any difference between that bolt and the one that is in the gun right now. <clears throat> the trigger assembly, if you look closely, it's kind of kind of hard to tell, but there's a one in that little dot. The one that is the trigger assembly that is in the gun right now has a one and then an A, one alpha in that same spot. That's the only difference that I can find in the two trigger assemblies. Uh, that bolt that you're looking at on top has misfired probably three or four times in I'd say a hundred rounds. So he sent me a new bolt and a new trigger assembly. Now I took those, I put them in the gun and I did my part. I ran probably five boxes of shells, just ran them through the gun to make sure it would not double feed. And it didn't. It hasn't double fed yet. I have dry run probably 10 to 13 boxes of shells through it. Not one double feed has occurred. I've probably shot 10 to 15 rounds through it. Three different duck hunts. Uh, lasting an hour and a half, two hours a piece. And not one misfire. <clears throat> However, today, uh, just like any other day, I went out, hunted, shot five times. Um, no problem, no misfire, no double feed, no nothing. Then whenever I came home, I started cleaning it, started wiping it down. And I could not get this piece right here that's supposed to release the slide. I couldn't get it to release the slide. So I took the trigger assembly out. You pop these two pins right here, you push them down, trigger assembly pops out. Looks just like this. It just pulls out. So I did that. I took the slide off. I took the bolt out. I cleaned it all up. I put it back in there. And then, I had a different problem. As you can see, this works, but I'll take the safety off. The trigger doesn't fire. It doesn't fire. 
not only does it not fire, check this out. I don't have to do anything to forward to just fall back. So, push it forward, and you would think I'd need to do something. Nope, there it goes. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to push the trigger. I don't have to push the slide release. I don't have to do anything. For this beautifully colored, awesomely put together, great shouldering, three and a half inch, $650 shotgun, that's basically. Well, if you invested about 30 bucks, you can make it into a lamp. And it would be about a $33 lamp. There's not enough metal in the housing in the center there to even sell it for scrap. So it's going back. And I can assure you it will not be replaced with a Remington. So that's my review of the 887 Bone Collector Edition that I fell in love with in the store and have since uh, fallen out of love with and I'm ready to just go throw it out in the street and run over a few times. So, goodbye YouTube.